What's going on everybody? Hope your week is going well. Um, mine is going great. A little tiring a little bit, but I'm doing pretty good. Um, today is Wednesday. For those that you know that follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, even my YouTube channel. Every Wednesday I do something called Midweek Encouraging Booth Vlogs. Basically these videos are to help us. If you had a rough start to your week or if your week been pretty good. You need that second win, that second kick, that, that real Red Bull type energy. That's what these videos are for. Encouragement, we all need it. I even need it sometimes. So when I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to myself as too. And every Sunday, we have something going on called Sports Vlog. So that's my prediction on the sports and different things. So if you got any suggestions, any ideas, whether it's with the Encouraging Vlogs or with the sports one, please let me know. And I would definitely I entertain any suggestions you have. I'm for any uh, help or anything to help keep these things rolling. Y'all been very supportive and I appreciate each and every one of you from where you share videos to where you give me ideas. For those that's been supporting, I appreciate you. Those that support and you may not say it, I still appreciate you. So with that being said, um, we're going to get into tonight's topic. I want to do something a little different than usual and my encouraging vlogs. Um, tomorrow is a big day for me and my wife, Mrs. Jasmine Ariel Barron. And it's gonna be four years, four years, that's a blessing, thank God. Four years of us being together married. We've been together for seven years, but we've been married a total of four years. It's been a blessing. I just wanna encourage somebody on tonight because at first, I didn't know what to talk about. Honestly, I have those moments sometimes where the encouraging vlogs, I don't know what to say. Even though I have like hundreds of videos, sometimes I don't always know what to say. And something will come across or some subject or some topic in my life or somebody else's life will come across at the last minute of something to talk about. And that was one of the cases today. Um, I want to talk about real love still exists. Those of you that are single, um... Think about getting married, you're on the verge of being married, you're engaged, you're dating. Um, even those that are married, love still exists. Um, for my single people, I'll start with you guys first. I've been there before when I was single, and I didn't know I was going to meet the right person. God was going to allow me to meet the right person, but he did in his timing. What I'll give advice to the singles, enjoy your singleness. Enjoy yourself. Um Enjoy those things that you can do now as a single person. Not saying marriage is being bad, but it's certain advantages single people have being single in a good way versus a married person. You have freedom to do more. You have a chance to find out more about yourself, what things you're interested in, what things you're not interested in. Because over time, as you get older, you change. Certain things that you're interested in, you won't be interested in by the time you get older. So... Find out some fun things about yourself. Be comfortable in your skin. Don't rush to get in a relationship just to feel complete, to feel whole. I've been there before. Um, thinking certain ones was going to be the one, they wasn't the one. Trying to have somebody around just to say, I'm um, dating somebody or well, this could be a potential. Don't do that because in the end, you leave yourself damaged. You, see, you leave yourself hurt. You leave yourself confused and you leave yourself frustrated. And then next thing you know, when you do get in the right relationship, you bring on baggage, unnecessary baggage. So enjoy yourself. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your family while you're single. And most importantly, find out the kind of person God wants you to be. Build that person. For those that are dating, get to know the person. Enjoy the person. Build a friendship with that person. Don't just be infatuated. I know when we first meet people, we're infatuated how they look. We're infatuated with the different swag they have, the different things that they do, this, that, and the other. But over time, when you get hit reality, swagger is not just going to keep the relationship. So enjoy each other's company. Build with one another. Learn from one another. Um, encourage one another. Push one another. Don't be so infatuated that you don't tell each other the truth while you're dating. Because what you do now while you're dating determines what you're going to do if you know that's the right person for you. It determines what you're going to do when you get married. So keep that in mind for those that are dating. Um, practice now. Because for those that are married, um, it's a whole nother ball game. Um, things change over time. Like some of you may know. 
me and my wife didn't look necessarily the same when we first got together. You get older, sometimes you might pick up weight, different things like that. Overall, those that are married, love one another. Cherish one another. Forgive. Put God first. Always be willing to sacrifice. Always be willing to hear each other. Don't let people get in your business. Don't, don't entertain a lot of negative things. I said all this to say to everybody, to encourage everybody, whether you're single, whether you're dating, whether you're engaged, and whether you're married, real love still is this. How do I know? God has blessed me and my beautiful wife, Lord willing, tomorrow to be together four years in marriage. We've been together seven, dating for us three years, and then we've been married for a total of four years. So, have we had our ups and downs? Yes. Have we faced tests and trials? Yes. Will we continue to face tests and trials? Yes. Do we still love each other? Yes, we do. The infatuation we had in the past, and we still love each other, we're still attracted to each other. It's just when you, as you get married, as you're more married, the years go on, things change, you get closer together, or you can fall apart. So I said all this to say, real love still exists. Don't take my word for it. God has kept us this long. We've had to pray together, read the word together, and talk to each other. So most importantly, always know real love still exists. Why? God created man and woman for each other. He made marriage is orchestrated in the Bible. So most importantly, guys, remember, real love still exists. Don't let people discourage you and tell you, don't fall in love, um, don't be married, don't be locked down. It's really not nothing you think. A lot of times when people say things like that, it's because they either married the wrong person or it's just their whole outlook in general. So watch the advice you get from people. But I just want to encourage somebody with that, man. Real love still exists. How do I know? God has blessed me and my wife, and I'm praying for more and more years. So as I continue to go along in the years, I have more and more videos for y'all. So with that being said, singles, be encouraged. Enjoy your singleness. Those that are dating, enjoy one another. Still do things you did while you were single. Um, engage. Enjoy the steps. Enjoy every moment. Married people, don't be ungrateful. Enjoy your spouse. Love your spouse. Well, with that being said, guys, that sums up tonight's uh, encouraging vlog for the night. Uh, be on the lookout. Um, Sunday, I'm going to do the sports vlog. So everybody do me a favor that's been enjoying these videos. Subscribe, share, and tell others about this channel because it's to help everybody. I can't get to different people that y'all might be able to get to. But word of mouth and sharing these videos makes a difference. So please share these videos. Let others know about it. I'm doing these every Wednesday, these encouraging vlogs to help us in the second half of the week. And every Sunday for my sports heads for um, predictions and more. So with that being said, thank y'all so much, man, for the support, for the efforts, for the comments, the encouragements. Y'all make it a lot easier for me. Till then, I'll see y'all Sunday. Take it easy. Have a blessed evening.